Well, you know, it was obviously a good game. Um, Justin over here to my left did a great job, we sort of put up zeros uh, with Tucker all just the first three, I believe. And uh, Justin had his good stuff today, gave us a chance to get on the board first. But so sometimes you got to tip your cap uh, to the opposing pitcher. He's really good and obviously has a bright future, possibly even past playing in college. And we sort of knew what we were going to get. We were hoping that, uh, that we'd be able to lay off that breaking ball. But he was sort of was so around the zone with that secondary pitch and you know, got the changeup going, just made it really tough on our hitters. But I'm really proud of our guys for battling. We did have a couple chances throughout the game and just weren't able to get that big, big hit uh, that was going to be able to get us back into the game. I certainly have some other thoughts about the game too, but uh, that's just sort of my uh, beginning thoughts. Uh, for you two, um Whoever wants to take the first question, uh, just your thoughts on the contest, uh, the team's performance. I mean, you guys really did hang tough there at the beginning and then um, tough down the stretch. But but talk about what it was like there in those those first couple innings, the, the energy that you guys had as a team. Yeah, uh, obviously, um, I personally, I felt like I had my good stuff today. And I think um, a walk here, a hit batter here, and then next thing you know, um, I obviously, I think, uh, some calls didn't go our way, and it kind of snowballed a little bit, but um, that's not something we can control. We just got to stick to what we do, our game plan, and um, obviously I couldn't make it out of the fourth, but um, I feel like we'll be back better tomorrow. We got uh, four games here uh, in the next few days, and um, we just, just have to be better. Yeah, like Coach said, uh, tip your cap to their pitcher. He did a really good job locating all his pitches was around the zone, didn't hand out a lot of free passes, but we had a lot of good at-bats, and we'll be, but we'll be ready to go for the next couple games. Sure. Morale, nothing that your team is short of. We saw it with the guys that were in the stands. I mean, those guys were just constantly there to lift you up. So uh, knowing that you've got such great support here, not only with your guys that are out there, but then with your fans that have traveled as well, talk about what that means to your team, knowing that you've got so many people there supporting you and lifting you up, ready to go tomorrow. Of course, yeah. It's it's uh it's definitely a lot easier to go out there and compete when when you have guys. You know, when I'm on the mound and I, I get an out, you have hear them screaming out. It's it's a it's a it's a fun experience for sure. And then there's no there's no lack of energy in the dugout, so it just makes coming to the ballpark every day a joy. And um, I think that's what's going to put us over the edge in these next few games. Maybe not the play on the field, but I think the guys in the dugout and the guys uh, sitting in the stands. I think they're going to be the X factor going forward. Yeah, it was really tough with the roster crunch. Only 25 guys. We have uh, more than 40, so it, it's really good to have them come along with us and support us, even though it's a, it was a tough decision to have all of them in the stands. Yeah, a lot of Ducks, you know, parents, even a bunch of alumni, you know, really shows how much they care about the program. Some of them drove a really long way to be here, both parents and alumni. You know, Ducks, ducks have the ability to fly long distances, so we definitely saw that today and, and throughout the next couple days, and uh, we're going to need that next couple days. Coach, looking forward to tomorrow. What's your message to the team coming out and getting ready to get things going early in that elimination game and um, looking to stay alive and continue in the tournament? Yeah, I mean, just first of all, with the conditions being so hot, guys just need to make sure they keep hydrating and, and eat well, try to get some sleep because it's a qu pretty quick turnaround uh, to be able to play that early game. And, you know, the biggest thing is just come ready to play because I really believe if, if we will do that. And once we do that, we have a chance to dig our way out of this hole. We certainly feel like we have the personnel to do it.